Viterra for me means vitality and caring about our patients and their lives. Designing products and knowing that there are so many people who are undiagnosed and not treated is really inspiring. So many things on the mask that have taken months or years to develop that makes a genuine difference in patients' lives. With product development, we're always trying to find ways of understanding the patient and understanding the journey they're going through with their therapy. And a big part of the job is being able to see opportunities in those conversations for design ideas or improvements that we can put into our masks. You need to give the patients a really positive experience. And the inspiration came from designing all the details that led to that experience. It's all those subtle things that people don't see, but they make that combination of the product which really has an effect on patients. To me, what makes uh, Viterra a really high-performing mask is the <coughs> performance of the seal and you know what we've done with the Rollfit technology to evolve that. As you can see these nose pads we've got here, um, so those are really carefully designed to help reduce leak into the eyes while not being uncomfortable. So we're making this a much more streamlined shape that goes deeper into the mask, so even if you have a narrow nose bridge or a small nose, it's going to be fully contacting around that region. The high performance aspect of Viterra is the combination of the seal combined with the headgear and usability, which makes it that kind of mask for long-term use. The number one pain point is, is discomfort. We're giving people a mask to wear in a place of kind of zen in the bedroom environment, so comfort is key, and that to me is where Viterra stands out. We identified the back of the neck as a source of irritation for a lot of patients and embarked on this global search to try to find a textile that is suitable for meeting and solving that need, and you'll find Basic fabric is in a lot of other applications, shoes or sportswear or rucksacks, and it's been designed for breathability. The three-point headgear, I think that was quite a big usability gain for the full face mask. Makes it a lot easier for cleaning, so patients can just take it off and then reassemble it quite easily. As a design engineer, it's great to work at a place like this that has really world-class facilities because we can really test the design down to its core very quickly. All our labs, our prototyping, our CNC machines, molding allows us to fail very quickly and iterate very quickly, which allows us to improve quickly and get to a final product that's the best for the patient. I think we had 30 to 40 tests on Viterra just for that mask alone, making sure it meets our specifications, conditioning it, and then actually performing the tests. We test the level of CO2 in the mask during use. We test the sound output of the mask to make sure that it's not too loud in the room. All of our clips, connections, etc., on the mask, we test those to make sure that the force to connect or disconnect it is within an acceptable level that a person can actually use. And then we basically take that a step further and make sure that all these components are strong enough to last the whole life cycle of the mask. We did a lot of things around quality control, more testing, more data coming from production that we can look at and go, are we meeting that, that goal that we set for ourselves around uh, making the product as consistently as we can? We use the best technology we have available to ensure that consistency. And you'll see that in the automation and the robotics that we use, we check that the performance of that part is what we intend it to be. Some of the feedback that came through from the clinical validation was that, you know, people didn't want to give this mask back. They were like, this is far superior to what I've usually slept with. So I guess that says a lot in terms of the mask itself and what it's actually doing for them and the quality of sleep that they're getting. Thinking back to some of those early brainstorms and seeing people having the courage to follow those ideas and to make them a tangible reality and to be at the stage of the project where we are at now, where we're rolling it out globally is really satisfying.